This one needs something? The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. May your road lead you to warm sands. A welcome to you, fellow traveler. Yes? I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Quite the opposite, in fact. The soldiers are some of our best customers, for we offer supplies and wares they cannot obtain by other means. It was Rissad's idea to come here now. While the land is in turmoil, where others saw only danger, he saw opportunity. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. This one needs something? Take a look. May the sun keep you warm, even in this land of bitter cold. Welcome to Khajiit's humble camp. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raiments has a large selection. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Spare some gold for a veteran? What? You see a man fallen on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil. And when I was struck down, they left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. I do miss that helmet. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God duty. The Divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. What do you need? You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Until next time. Trouble?
Citizen. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir? You can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Something to report? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legat Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Sir. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. Ulfric will want to take Whiterun from us. But Damn Stormcloak pass. rebels. We can't give the rebellion free reign. You mean Ulfric's so-called Stormcloak Rebellion? The Nord Kings. Oh, excuse me, Jarls. They can't seem to control their own people, so the Legion has stepped in to keep order. Sadly, the Empire's stretched a little thin these days, and we've gotten very few reinforcements. So we've been forced to recruit locally. But rest assured, citizen, we'll put an end to this uprising, and things will get back to normal soon enough. Not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. We have garrisons throughout all the provinces of the Empire. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law, and protect the citizenry. Skyrim's days are darkening, and the Legion will soon be called into service like never before. But we stand ready, as always, to meet that call. Think you've got the medal, huh? Honestly, the Legion can use all the able bodies it can muster. We have our hands full. A dead king, a rebellion, and now dragons? Skyrim's a mess. If you're serious, you're in the right place. Our headquarters is in Castle Dower. Here you'll find General Tullius, commanding our forces in Skyrim. But talk to Legate Ricca. She handles the local recruiting. Until next time. It's good we hold the Reach. Were the Rebels to gain control, the Silver Mines would give them coin to hire more thugs and expand their violence. Why the Elfin Blade, hmm? 
Nord Steel not good enough for you? So, you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Hail, companion. You heard of Raven Scar Hollow? Cave on island to the west. Place is a roost for us. You wouldn't be a sellsword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. I may have accidentally let a prisoner escape, the leader of one of those bandit groups. I told everyone he died during questioning, and I need you to track him down and make sure he doesn't show up to disprove that. Come on now. Good. I'll have a sack of coin waiting for you when you get back. Ain't got one, but I'd fancy a chance at that Jari Ra's scrawny neck. Filthy Argonia never would have set foot in this city if High King Torig was still alive. I can tell you that. Remember, I need that bandit dead, not alive. You stay out of trouble now. The ca Aye, I'm the headsman here in solitude. It's my job. Depends on what you mean by busy. I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job, usually. Keep your head about you. If those white run gods can take down the dragon, so can we. Proud Spire Manor. Now there's a fine home. Not for sale, too. Do you have business with the court? Be if quick. you have business, have little please see Falk Firebeard, business. my steward. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say, for it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow, now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Take care of yourself and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. I have so... nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. You're trying my patience. Stay guarded. I am the Jarl Steward. You what could be if you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. 
Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember that. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns.